www.wineandwoods.com. Uh, today's wine, uh, Chateau de l'Abbé uh, de Saint-Ferme, Bordeaux Superior, 2010 vintage. Weighing in at, um, when people think about Bordeaux as, uh, uh, as being a, a light, low alcohol, refreshing wine, this one's 14%. Let's see what it tastes like. And at seven years old, it's smelling rather nice. Uh, it's smelling uh, not overripe, it's smelling not over mature, and it's not smelling, um, there's a wine fault that uh, you'll often find in quite a lot of Bordeaux. In small amounts, it, it adds a little bit of personality. In, in large amounts, it uh, takes over the wine, Britannomyces it's called, or Brett for short. Don't get uh, uh, much Brett coming through here, but what you do get is this juicy, soft, friendly, plummy character. And there's a slightly roasted character there too. Um, so it's this um, baked baked berries, baked plums. And um, there's still this juiciness about it. Uh, very much a wine that you'd want to have with, with food. Hard cheeses, red meats. Um, yeah, umami rich, uh, savoury food. And uh, the finish it left, le leaves you with is this nice juicy uh, cooked plum character. Victoria plum. Uh, rather than on the slightly darker downs and edge. Uh, not a hugely complex wine, but it's not a hugely complex price. Ten ninety five dollars uh, For those who like their, their red Bordeaux on the mature side, uh, this is uh, this really does hit the spot. And uh, so I think I'm going to uh, go and uh, not use the spittoon for the last bit of this bottle. No, no, the last bit of this glass, not the last bit of this bottle. Golly, that's rather demanding even for me. Anyway, see you soon.